praise the Lord. Uh, we thank God for yet another day the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Today is another day we have made, and we started this Bible teaching that the Bible doctrine from doctrine one to doctrine seventeen. Today we are going to look at doctrine eighteen, the second coming of Jesus. See, the first coming was uh, is the rapture, and the second coming is for for his what judgment and today we are going to look at what his second coming before we move on let's have a word of prayer god we thank you so much for yet another day you've given unto us thank you we are praying at this moment another teaching the lord give us the understanding and speak to us thank you bless you jesus amen amen so without wasting my time as i told you already uh today we are going to look at the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, His second coming. They said the word of God teaches us that the second coming of Christ would be just a literal and visible as He is going away and is coming to execute judgment upon the ungodly. His second coming, that one will be visible to everyone. Everyone will see Jesus Christ Himself coming to this land. Now, the first coming will be in the what? In air, in the sky. That one is for, for the rapture to come and what? Execute what? Uh, sorry, to come and take away the righteous people what? Away to, with him to what? To heaven. His second coming, that one is descending on this what? Land to execute judgment upon the what? The ungodly Satan and his people. The ungodly people. People that refuse to repent. God will come and execute. Jesus will come and execute what His judgment upon them. He will also set up His kingdom and reign on His present earth for a thousand years. On His second coming, after He has what executed what judgment upon ungodly, He will come and what execute what uh, His what sorry His coming what establishes what kingdom on this what earth. For what a thousand years, which is called the what millennium what reign. We'll talk about that. That was doctrine 19. So after this, uh, we we'll talk about what the millennium what reign. So Jesus Christ is second coming after executing judgment upon the what the ungodly, that those who refuse to what repent from their sin, is will come what establish what his kingdom what upon this what earth, and everybody, I mean the whole world have what one king which is what jesus christ now before we move on let's look at something as matthew matthew 25 matthew 25 verse 31 to 46 verse 31 said when the son of man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory Verse 32, and before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divided his sheep from what the goat. Hallelujah. Let, let me pause in uh, verse 32. That's Matthew chapter 25, verse what 32. As I just what ready now, Jesus Christ on his second coming when he come. He what he's coming to what execute what judgment and his judgment he, he will separate the righteous from what the unrighteous like what a shepherd who is who is what who separate what the goat from what from the sheep you understand verse 33 and he shall set the sheep on his right hand but the goat on his what left hand side verse 34 then shall the king say unto them on his right hand come Ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Hallelujah. And th that great day is going to be what? A very uh, beautiful moment for what? For the righteous to soon listen to what? The word of God and repent from their sin. Um, verse 35 For I saw a uh, sorry, for I saw a hang and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty. And he gave me drink. I was a stranger, and he took me in. Naked, and he clothed me. So I clothed me. I was sick, and he visited me. 
I, I saw in prison, and he came upon me. Verse 39. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee, and hungry, and fed thee, and thirsty, and gave thee drink? Verse 38. Uh, when saw we thee in stranger, and took thee in, or naked, and clothed thee? Verse 39. Or when saw we thee sick, or in prison, and came unto thee. Verse 40. And the kingdom shall answer and said unto them, Very I said unto you, Inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Hallelujah. Over here, Jesus Christ was saying that, I was hungry, I was thirsty, I was naked, and what? You what? He came to my aid what? to help me. But over here, the, the people didn't understand. So they asked him, and he further what? Explain that. Me, as you have done unto what? Unto your neighbor, your friend. Your friend was hungry, you fed him. Your friend was thirsty, you what? He gave me drink. Your friend was in prison, you visited him. Your friend was naked, and he clothed me. Once you have done unto him, you have what? So as you have done what unto me. Verse 41. Then shall he said unto all them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye curse, ye curse into everlasting fire. Prepare for the devil and his angels. Verse 42. For I for I was a hungry, and I gave sorry, and ye gave me no meat. I was thirsty, and he gave me no drink. I saw a stranger, and he took me not in. Naked, and he clothed me not. Sick, and sick, and in prison, and he visited me not. Then shall they also answer them, saying, Lord, when saw we thee, and hungry, and test, sorry, and attest, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister unto thee. Then shall he answer them, saying, Very I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye did not, ye did it not to me, to one of your least on this, ye did it not to me. Verse 46 And this shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into life eternal. Hallelujah. So over here, Christ was what was uh, explaining something, was demonstrating something that once you have what he didn't do unto what uh, unto your brother, same as he did not do unto me. Uh, you remember the, the 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 rich man and what in Lazarus, the rich man saw Lazarus. Lazarus was full of what saw his whole body was full of so he was what hungry, testing, but the rich man saw him, but he fed him what him not. But when they both of them died. The uh, rich man opened his eyes and saw Lazarus in the bosom of what Father Abraham, and he saw himself in what in what hellfire tormenting. So same as what over here Jesus Christ was what demonstrating. Let's look at something at um. Let's continue at uh, twenty six, mighty twenty six, mighty twenty six verse sixty four, mighty twenty six verse sixty four. He said, Jesus said unto him. Thou hast said, Nevertheless, I say unto you, Hereafter shall ye see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of power and coming in the cloud of what heaven. Jesus Christ will come from the what on the cloud of what heaven to come and what to come and reign for what for a thousand years, and at that time the ungodly with Satan together will be what cast into what everlasting what uh, fire. Let's look at something at Mark, Mark 13, verse 24 to 37. Mark 13, Mark 13, verse 24 to 37, verse 24 to 37. But in those days, after that tribulation, the sun shall be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the star of heaven shall fall, and the powers that are in heaven shall be shaken. 
and then shall they see the son of man coming in the cloud with great power and glory hallelujah and then shall he said his angels and shall gather together with shall gather together his elect from the four wings from the uttermost part of the earth to the uttermost part of heaven verse 48 now learn a parable of the fig tree when her branches is yet tender and put it forth leaves ye know that summer is what near verse 29 so ye in like manner when he shall see these things coming to pass now now that it is night even at the door verily i say unto you that the generation shall not pass till all these things be done heaven and earth shall pass away but my word shall never what pass away hallelujah oh my god jesus christ was telling us that heaven and earth shall pass away this earth that we are enjoying the beautiful places the beautiful moment that what we are enjoying here they will all what come to pass they what they will come to an end they will all pass away that is why it is good it is better for us to what to seek god it says seek ye first the kingdom of god and his what righteousness and all other things shall be added unto you it is good to see god first and all other things what shall be added unto you all these beautiful things that we are having it is good it is better for us to have it in order what to have what a good what life but then we need to balance what our life and what and time with what with the word of god when you leave god when you eliminate god in your life all that what you are acquiring will be what will be what in vain that is why it is good what to what to seek the face of god God is come Jesus is Christ what is coming to take off the righteous away will it be part that is what the big question will it be part the songwriter said are you in the number are you in the number are you part of the righteous ones in case Jesus Christ would come now will it be part will it be part of the righteous one who would taking away to heaven Jesus Christ is coming to bring this episode to an end in the in his second coming christ will reign on the earth for one thousand years with the saints christ the millennium reign christ's rule will be characterized by unprecedented peace prosperity and blessing on the earth satan the author of heartache strife contention would be bound for du- the duration of Jesus of Christ's millennial what reign during Christ's million millennial reign on earth Satan will be what will be banned will be uh, changed let's look at that one at what Revelation chapter 20 verse 2 and 3 Revelation chapter 20 verse 20 one will ask when Christ is reigning for that thousand years where will Satan be since Satan will be arrested, he will be what? He will be chained. Revelation 20, verse 2 and 3. It said, And he and he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil, and Satan, and burned him in what thousand years. Hallelujah. That is why I always say that let us read our Bible by ourselves so that we will know the word of God. The Bible contains the words what from our Lord. Verse 3 And cast him into a bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that, he must be loose. A little season hallelujah so during Christ's millennial reign Satan what will be what will be cast down into the bottomless what pit will be changed furthermore Satan and his co- coward will Satan and his coward will be more place forced to what fight Christ and frustrate his coming again to establish the millennial reign just in the same way he used Herod, sorry Herod, in his uh, attempt to kill Christ at the first time, he was defeated, and again he will be defeated. Hallelujah! Said, uh, you know, Satan used uh, King Herod what to kill Jesus when uh, Jesus was what giving birth to baby Jesus, and 
by the grace of God, what he was what defeated. Same as the millennial reign. During uh, the millennial reign, Satan will attempt what to fight back what Christ, but again, Christ what would defeat him. The battle against Christ and his host is called the battle of Amagadon. The battle between Christ and, and his rival, which was Satan, is called the battle of what Amagadon. Let's look at Revelation 19. Revelation 19, verse 11 to 21. But it said, And I saw heaven open. Over here it is John. John wrote what? Revelation. And what? Revelation. I hope you all know Revelation. Like what? Something like a dream. It said, And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse. And he sat upon him was called faithful and true. And in righteousness, he doubt judge and what mark war verse 12 his eyes were as flame of fire and on his head were many crowns and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself and he he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood and his name is called the word of god hallelujah and and the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine lime, white and clean. Verse 15. And out of his mouth got a sharp sword, that with it he should, he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, and threaten the uh, the winepress of the what of the five fineness and wrought the almighty God. Verse 16, And he had on his vesture and on his side a name written, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. Over here, John saw what the revelation of what of the coming of Jesus Christ. And this one he was what describing how Jesus Christ was what was coming from what from heaven, the King of Kings and the Lord of what Lords. And I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the fowls and that fly in the midst of heaven, Come and gather yourselves together upon the supper of the great God, that ye may eat the flesh of kings, and the flesh of captains, and the flesh of mighty men, and the flesh of horses, and of them that sat on them, and the flesh of all men, both flesh, sorry, both free and bound, both small and great. Verse 19. And I saw the, the beast, the king of eggs, and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat upon the horse and against his army. Verse 20. And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him, with which he deceived them that here received the mark of the beast, and them that worshipped him in his image. These both were cast alive into the lake of fire, burning with brimstone. Verse 21. And he and the remnant were slain with a sword of him that sat upon the horse, which sword proceeded out of his mouth, and all the fowls were fired with his with their flesh. Hallelujah. Over here was describing how what how Christ will come and what and how Christ would defeat what Satan. Satan will be defeated once again as he was defeated before and will be cast into the lake of fire with what his people that the first prophet with the unbelievers a whole lot of people will come in the name of what jesus proclaiming that they are christ proclaiming that they are the lord jesus christ first a whole lot of first prophets what would are would rise deceive many believers many righteous but that's why he said be ye vigilant and be careful for the adversary the devil is what is at hand deceiving so many souls so many righteous people let us be careful as christians and read our bible by ourselves so that we when we hear their voices we can be able to identify this voice is not from from god there will be a great and terrible slaughter of the armies of the 
Antichrist gathered from the nation of the earth through the effort of evil spirit sent out over the earth by Satan, the Antichrist and the false prophets. This last attempt by Satan is wrongful, is wrongful taking the kingdom from Christ will fail. Hallelujah. Satan will try all his possible best to bring down the kingdom of Christ, but he will fail once again. Lastly, the world and the church are called to prepare for the great event, and the world is admonished to repent and come to Christ before the day of the Lord. The church, as the bride, is called to be ready, holy, spotless, watchful, prayerful, and busy preaching his word until he comes hallelujah behold he cometh with cloud and every eye shall see him praise the lord the church need to be prayerful need to pray and watchful for the devil is at is at hand false prophets are around deceiving many what believers that is why it is good for the church to be prayerful to preach the word of god to his what his members for them to repent from their sin when christ come you will not you will not be any what uh, injustice christ is going to judge every creature by your deeds irrespective of who you are either you were a pastor a bishop or whatsoever a servant of the church he said that they shall speak to you shall say to many that depart from me for i i know ye not many shall say for i cast out devil demons in your name and he said depart from me for i i know you not there are a lot of people are doing so many miracles that are, are not from god don't be deceived by those things know the bible and pray every day for christ to lead you so that you will not be lost you will not be taken away by the our the miracles and whatsoever it is pray prepare yourself and repent from your sin and be the doer of the word of god read your bible and pray every day and wait upon the lord so that when the lord come we shall be with you in heaven god bless you thank you for your wonderful time god bless you so much my name is dr william and thank you so much another thanks goes to dr faith for the sound for the background sound god bless you all see you next time god bless you